Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Right now, in order to use this new feature, you need the new NVIDIA driver 451.48 which is the latest one as of right now, and the May 2020 update for Windows 10. It's also called the 2004 update. So if you have those two things done, just by going into the graphics settings options on Windows, you should have the option to turn it on or off. According to Microsoft, Windows itself, it says reduce latency and improve performance. You'll need to restart your PC for the changes to take effect. And Nvidia says can potentially improve performance and reduce latency. So in order to test that, I want it to be both GPU and CPU bound. What I mean by this is I try to have GPUs at 100% and compare them with this feature on or off at the same time. And then I also tried that, but without the GPU going to 100%, with the CPU being the limiting factor. For this test, I'll be using first a 1050 Ti with a Ryzen 5 3600. And after that, I'll be swapping the 1050 Ti for a GTX 1660 Super. So it will be easier to get higher frame rates and do better comparisons. The games I tested were CSGO, GTA 5, Resident Evil 3, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Rainbow Six Siege and Red Dead Redemption 2. I just wanted to do some quick tests on DX9 with CSGO, then some DX11 titles like GTA 5 on RE3, then the RTX 12 on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and finally on Rainbow Six Siege and Red Dead Redemption 2, it will be on the Vulcan API. So I have pretty much all the common APIs tested here. And so far the differences that I saw were on CPU bound moments. So if your GPU is completely maxed out, you shouldn't see a major difference in performance. So when your CPU is the limiting factor is when this option will make a difference, but the difference is still a little bit tiny. How do I know that this is a CPU bound change? Well, when I'm testing CSGO on the 1050 Ti, I can see a performance difference on the 1660 Super as well. Then on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Resident Evil 3, Rainbow Six Siege, on those I didn't see much of a difference at all, probably because we were GPU bound on both cases, which means that the graphics card was the limiting factor. But then on the other hand, when the CPU is the limiting factor, like it happens on CSGO, and when I'm testing Red Dead Redemption 2 on the 1660 Super, that's when I see the small performance improvement. For some reason on GTA 5, in some parts, I saw lower performance using GPU scheduling, which was pretty weird, but it only happened on GTA 5 for what I tested so far. So yeah, I would say if you have the latest Windows 10 update, the May 2020 update, and the latest NVIDIA driver, I see no reason not to enable it, unless you are CPU bound playing GTA 5, since on that one I saw lower frame rates in some parts. But again, if you are limited by the CPU, I don't see why you shouldn't enable it. If you already have all the latest updates, you just have to restart your PC and it's already working. No extra work needed. But yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Captain, this fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses.
estuvo. Captain, this fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. I'm not 